So now let's talk about header files. Um, in C++, you work with two types of files mainly. There are code files and there's header files. The extensions are arbitrary. Uh, I, usually a code file has a .cpp extension. Uh, the header files have a .h extension, uh, but I've also seen .hpp. It really doesn't matter. But let's talk about header files, why we need them, <laughs> that sort of thing. So we have um, we have the example I have from the uh, last program. Now let's say, uh, or last video, the let's say this another file .cpp. Let's say it had. Let's pretend that it had several useful functions in here, some mathematical functions or something to that effect. Something I want to use in a lot of places all over. Well, one thing I could do is just copy and paste the code all over, which don't you should know why that we don't do that. That's bad. Okay. Another way to do it is with just what we had before. I have a translation unit here and I write the code once and then um in order to use that I simply whichever ones I use I put their uh declarations uh, in the translation units in which I wish to use them. Um, but this could also quickly become uh, unmaintainable because uh, if we're if we have several functions and and several things we're using all over the place, and all of a sudden now I have to maintain this list of declarations and I have to copy and paste this around. So instead, what we want to do is uh, also say the declarations just once instead of copying and pasting this all these together. In fact, to make it a complete list, let's just uh, do this and also insert foo3 in here. So now I have a complete list of everything that's available over in this other translation unit and so I could just copy and paste this in all the other translation units and then I wouldn't have any problem using them except you know this this list could change and the parameters and the arguments could change and all that could be become a headache and copy and paste and that's just bad. So instead we only wish to say uh, the declarations once as well. We want the definitions, meaning the actual code or what's there once, and then we want the declarations. We want a way to say them once as well. And so header files solve this problem. If you notice here in the Solution Explorer, I took liberty and added a header file. It is empty. Let me um, let me drag it over this side. So, oh, well that didn't work as well as I was hoping it did. Would. Um, I wonder, let me go over here. Let me reopen it and then drag it over here. Okay, so now I have a CPP file. I have the header file. The header file is empty. Um, by convention, we name header files the same name as their CPP counterparts. Um, C header files technically aren't limited or tied to exactly one CPP file. We could have one header file for several CPP files or, or whatever, but um, generally we have one header file for a CPP file. And all a header file holds are these uh, declarations. So I'm just going to cut these out. I'm going to paste them in the header file and save it and try to build it. Well, if you look, again, we have our compiler errors. It says foo, foo2, and foo4. The, the compiler, again, going back to translation units, the compiler says, I don't see a foo. I don't see a foo2. I don't see a foo4. And that's because we put all of the declarations over in this header file. So there's a couple ways to fix this. One is to be naive and undo what we just did and, and copy and paste the uh, declarations in here. But then again, we've just duped our declarations. That's bad. So what we want instead is a way to co automatically copy these header declarations into this translation unit. And the way we do that is by relying on the preprocessor. I showed you the preprocessor before with pound defines and, and um, replacing uh, symbols with, with constant values. Well, here's another um, thing that the preprocessor has to do is simply I say pound include, and I'm going to say another CPP file.h. And basically, I'm saying, hey, um, include the contents of another CPP file.h right here. Basically, open up this file and paste it right here, right where I say to right there. And so the preprocessor, remember, three steps in the whole compilation pro process is first one's preprocessor, second one's compiler, third one is linker. The preprocessor simply uh, 
it comes over here and copies all of this and replaces the pound include instruction with with the contents of the file so it basically pastes right there so when I say that the preprocessor is doing some textual fix up yeah it's literally changing the text depend, depending on the instructions we give the preprocessor so anyway now that I say pound include another cpp file dot h well that's easy I can say this all over in several translation units that's simple and then if I need to change maybe foo3 ends up taking an int as an argument I or uh, as an argument I, I can just change it once I don't have to change it and if I've pasted this all over the place I don't have to change it in all the places I've pasted it. I've just changed it once right here and so so that's nice that's that's the whole that's basically a header file in a nutshell so let's see if this actually builds let's build it's saying it's not found why not Foo is not found. Foo cannot find suitable head row stuff. Oh, it's it's Visual Studio complaining, but essentially that's that, that's the gist of it. I'll, I'll get this working. Okay, cut out and come back in. I got this working. I was simply um j just because of the way I'm doing these video recordings, I had some files in the wrong location, but 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 it works now. I build it, it runs, build succeeded, and I can execute. So.